okay so hello again so, this time I'll guide you how to set up your or very own elk stack but not just the bare basic setup but really to have a complete sim you also need to enable alerts and so that's why that's how I'm what what I'm going to show you or demo to you today this is the basic installation and enabling the alerts feature of the elastic sim so let's start so for this demo we'll, we'll be using ubuntu 20 server virtual machine and i already have here a separate photo session so we could have a uh, easier copy and paste from the guide so i have here open the elastic guide how to deploy or install the elastic search to an debian or ubuntu package so first step is to import the pgp key so as you can see it's easier if you have a party so session open to your virtual machine so it's just a matter of right click to copy and paste and install install this one done and then enable the repository once that's done you can now install the elastic search okay I'll just forward this so you don't have to wait now it's completed so next step is to configure the elastic search so let's do that etc elastic search search Elastic search. Elastic. Okay. Do you see elastic search? it's just nano so that's why elastic search that yml and as for the basic configuration so these are the items we have to configure so cluster name the node name just comment that out then the path just leave us is bootstrap memory lock of course the network host if you want to access it outside of your virtual machine like your host you have to set this to 0 .0 .0 .0. otherwise you can only access your Elasticsearch instance inside your virtual machine. Then let's use the default port 9200. And here the discover type a single node. That type single node. Okay, so those are the basic config. Let's write that the config using control O and then control X. And now we can now reload the config using these commands. Then this one, enable. And now we can now start the service. And let's just check the status if it's already running okay it is already running and of course we need to browse to really check 
so let's just refresh this as you can see if you are seeing this details it means that you have successfully set up the elastic search so next up we'll install the kibana which is the web ui the web ui component of this elastic scene so to do that we run the command kibana okay next let's install the lag stash so to do that so apt install okay i'll just forward this again to completion now it's completed again so i just completed the setup and we can actually start both kibana and lagstar service using sudo start kibana and lagstash so let's check if they're both kibana and let's check okay they're all running so here is the working config for elastic prior to enabling alerts elastic here cluster name node name add data logs and that's all then here's the working config for the kibana here max payload index username password this one you have to ready as well for the alerting picture and the request timeout the short timeout so that's for the kibana and lastly for the log stash Nothing much, just the fat data, leave as is, and that's it. So, no more okay, just the, the lag, lags path. Okay, let's check now if, if our elastic search is browsable. So Let's refresh. So here's the elastic search instance again. The Kibana is working as expected. So let's exit this. So this is saying from the start. This is just a very base install and as for the alerts or the rules, you can't do anything. So you can see here it has an error we're in you need to enable this in order to use the alerts or create rules so you see without without rule functionality is really useless so that's what i'm going to teach next Okay, so to enable alerting or rules creation functionality, let's edit the Elasticsearch YML. So we only need to enable or comment out one line, which is this one. XPAC security enabled true. 
So write the config, control O, then control X. And let's sudo service, service restart. Search start. start the elastic search. Okay, so let's check now if the alerts or boost feature is enabled. Login again using the Elastic account. Okay, ignore this since we're using a default password. And let's check if we can now create rules. And as you can see, there are no more errors in the alerts page and you can now click on the manage rules. You will be brought to the rules page where we can create a full-fledged SIM rule. So you now have a working fully functional SIEM on Elastic because as I said earlier, an SIEM without a correlation or rules feature is pretty much useless. Rats.